Well, this guy is low. I got you. Another rift. Yeah, but nah, this is not. I think maybe we needed to kill him before. Get out of there! Whoa! I think we need to be quicker than him. But I seriously don't think this is gonna work for me. Um. <laughs> I love the fact that I keep drinking beer. This is going to be epic, people. Drunk Geralt. Um. <laughs> no, 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 you don't stop it. Go away. I'm drunk. Are you well and whole? I feared unnecessarily. Let's look around. If I have my knickers on straight, this looks like the elves look. Look, the elves have a message for Old elf laboratory. You, you need to st say one sentence at a time, woman. Okay, there's only one of them. I thought there's one. <laughs> I thought there was three. <laughs> uh, let's drink some more. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. God, I wish I was drunk as well. <laughs> Imagine this going on like this. Ah, yeah, I remember this chest. Uh, right then. Uh, I don't see anything else. Okay, here there's something. What about uh, the guy here? Doesn't he have any loot? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, okay, well. But has a series been through this already? Huh? I want it. No. You know, I'm I'm coming. Yeah. I just need to. Game, give me medium armor, please. I actually think I have a very good armor on. Th that's already a good medium armor. Good enough for my level. Wait a second. There was nothing in here. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I wanted the goodies. Fine, fine, fine. Mm. Okay. Well, I I needed to use them. <laughs> well, I could exchange them for water, but what are you doing? All right, let's watch this message. Sire, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one, and above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Mm -hmm. Try to reach the place where last we were together. 
true. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything, and if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the elf, not about Siri. Oh, don't well, be. we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. Exactly. <laughs> and also about the witches, yeah. Wonder why they split up. I don't really wonder. They probably split up because <sighs> something happened or, or because of the wild hunt itself. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the wild hunt was on the elf's trail, and Siri would be safer if they did. Or the reverse. <laughs> the witches, the bog, crook, bog witches, whatever. The witches of Crookback's. <laughs> Crookback bog. Oh, okay. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. didn't mention them earlier why didn't you say anything earlier I told you Siri had a run in with a witch well, I, I had no idea you meant then if I told you something you would have rushed off to find them but we needed first to confirm that Siri was here didn't I we? don't know I shall tell you everything now of course now now after I safely led you through the cave I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me oh really Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorcerers. Why wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Can't imagine where that comes from. <sighs> you know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders. But they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Mm. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Bellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Mm. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Oh yeah! Treats. Of yes! Course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. Come on! All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. Oh, yes. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right, then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. <sighs> I'm hungry. Why do we even come? I want gingerbread treats. <laughs> I ca I can't uh, I I can't you know get through this while I'm sober. Not anymore. <laughs> hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. Is it Kalkstein? No, Kalk. <laughs> Me and my Kalkstein. Kalkstein is uh, um, not an elf. He's a, um, a half or a quarter a no, I believe. Uh, but he's certainly not a an elf. Mm. Mysterious mage herbalist. We should uh, pick up his herbs. Oh, look at this, finally. Oh, here we go. 
What exactly is the Elder Blood? According to some, it is a powerful elven curse passed from generation to generation, those in whose veins the infamous Hen Eker flows are said to carry death and destruction within them, to sow hatred and disdain in the hearts of men. It was from this contaminated blood that Ithlin prophesied an avenger would be born, a destroyer of nations and worlds. Others claim the Elder Blood is an extremely rare inherited talent. This is what, uh, this is more like what I remembered. Rare inherited talent, granting control over time and space to a degree unattainable even to elven sages. This is more what I thought it was. Sadly, few bearers of this gift have been able to control it in full. This merely partial mastery inevitably leads to sudden outbursts of the power that take the form of unpredictable, uncontrollable and thus extremely dangerous explosions. Okay. <laughs> Behind the dark legends about the curse of the Elder Blood lies the truth of these tragic cases. For obvious reason, the bearers of the Elder Blood were always a subject of great interest to the world's mighty and to mages alike. The former counted on the truth of Itlin's prophecy, on an avenger being born who could destroy worlds and who they could thus use for their purposes. As for the latter, they hoped to harness the magic of In Eker to broaden... Uh, Oh. Where, oh god, I lost it. Their own knowledge and powers. Ultimately, however, uh, all these plans were for naught. The Elder Bloodline broke off with the disappearance of the heiress to the Nilfgaardian crown, Cyril, La Fiona, blah blah blah. So, uh, in her, the Elder Blood comes from. Father? Because I don't have, as I've said before, I don't have a genealogy, so I don't know who the hell was uh, blood related to Laura Doran or to that line that carries the gift, I suppose, because I suppose Laura Doran was the perfect carrier of the gift or something like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know very well this is what what's in my brain what I have learned from what the game taught me the information I got from the game which is strictly the information I go by <coughs> uh, the elder bloodline was broken because Lara Doran married a human and so dispersed their gift uh, must be the Emperor's side then because I don't know Pavetta's bloodline I don't know the Urchin's bloodline I don't know which grandmother was the grandmother I'm reading about I mean Siri's grandmother which one was it um, the one that was related to Pavetta or the Orchion or the one that was uh, related uh, to uh, the Lufgard Emperor. I suppose the grandmother is not um, in the... I don't know if the grandmother was a carrier of the elder, of the genes, of the so-called genes. Um... I'm inclined to think that the grandmother, though, was not Nilfgaardian, but was maybe Pavetta's mother or the Urchin's mother. I don't know. The truth is that I don't know. I hope I will find more information. The ladies of the wood. The gods have abandoned us. The mighty of this earth care not for our fate. Only the ladies of the wood watch over Vel, and in foul times, when plague and famine reap their harvest, we must beg the ladies for help. If they see fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. This is how one begs help from the ladies. <laughs> Find a child, young and innocent, and take it to Crookback Bog. 
Seek out the lady's shrine. It is where the trail of tra oh, trail of treats begins. All <laughs> right. Send the child off on the trail and it shall follow the sweet track and find the, go the good ladies. The child will never want for anything again, for the ladies are kind and generous. Okay, so there's... Um, this takes uh, from the story of Hansel and Gretel. Um, because that, that's what the Witcher universe does. It's uh, intertwined with the, the real life universe, which is a particular I don't really care. Uh, about for whatever I don't really like it but it seems like the um, crones are in fact uh, good um, I mean it seems this is what is written here I have no idea <laughs> I, I think we might take Gretka there <laughs> just because <laughs> Stand before the shrine, pronounce your supplication, and the good ladies will hear, for they see and hear all that takes place in the Dimesne. If you made the offering as it must be done, your plea shall be heard. Alright. The woven storm, these scars long have yearned for your tender crest to bind our fortunes. Come what these stars own. And my heart opened, and your love professed, a winding, with weaving fate to which we both a toe. You flee my dream. Come the morning, your scent berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twist, stormy of violet, stormy of violet eyes glistening as you weep. Wow. Uh, poetry and stuff, it's not my thing. Right? The wolf I will follow into the storm to find your heart, its passion displaced. By ire ever growing, hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace. What is this? I mean, it's about Yennefer and uh, Geralt, but it, this is Dandelion's. <laughs> can't stand the guy for some reason. Uh, you flee my dream again. I know not if fate would have us live as one, or if by love's blind chance we've been bound. I wish I whispered when it all began, did it forge a love you might never have found? I don't know, we should... Uh, uh, you should start maybe with breaking that bond and see if you work outside that bond. That would be a good idea, if the bond can be broken. Because it could be just a uh, gears, you know. Violet eyes glistening as you whip. I, I, don't, I don't think a love uh, that is bounded by a spell or something should be called love. It's clearly a... Yes. A whatever. Oh, so it, it's not exactly love. It's induced. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. You gave him? You gave him what? What kind of potion did you give him? You gave him something? Oh, hey, hey, don't move me. <laughs> the bear legend. I wonder what that is. It was just um, a generic book that I read, but uh, I didn't need to read it to you because I don't think it's main quest material. Just a reader you can go through. It's about Skelly J. Skelly J. After the white frost. I think we should read this. Spring ash down dreamy hills, past sparkling water, Stirnalia drifts, 
slowly, softly, silently into oblivion. Sage lips black and frosted bones quiver. Before an ice bound eye can blink in distant skies, I will watch your descent. Got it. <laughs> notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. Well, they're burnt now. We can't do anything about that. But Siri has been here already then. Introduction to applied magic. That was an interesting read. Not necessary for this quest, so you don't need it. Can't do anything with that. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? Probably gonna open. It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. You expected? Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Oh. Huh. Thanks. When you notice a shimmer in the air, walk toward it. Okay, so this is a consumable though. Wait a second, this is just game mechanics, but... <laughs> you, you were expecting me, and you were expecting to be in here. Mm, I think it's just game mechanics. Or maybe she was. See where the passage leads. So definitely main quest needs to be followed because it teaches us things that we can use in other quests afterwards. It, it, you just can't go random in this game. So I hope I got everything that I wanted. I think I did. So let's keep going out. Get a rest, I suppose. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. Magic lamp? The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. But you didn't help him. I can find it, that is. Will you help? I'm interested in the lamp. I hope this lamp doesn't lead to something else. Anyway, yeah, I I'm, I, I don't like genies, but uh, is it a good idea to get entangled with a lamp and a woman again? Oh, I'm way too curious. I can't. Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. But you you see. Ooh, and we leveled up good. So we can do contracts. <sighs> Looks like another damned riddle to me. I'm good with riddles. <laughs> I'm good with riddles, so. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Is there something else here? I 
There must be differences between these statues. There are differences between these statues. Um, she didn't actually help the elf, though. So I don't know if she really deserves <laughs> that lump. Or maybe, did she? I don't understand. Did she actually redirect Siri to him? Was Siri here already, or...? I'm slightly confused. This game does not deliver information in a way, in a consequential way, which is what bugs me most. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the elder speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhyme. It's fine. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. Yes. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. <laughs> and thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. <laughs> That's Sounds easy. like a riddle, all right. That's gonna be easy, actually. But uh, I needed to write this down in some way or another. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. Mm, I listened to the riddle <laughs> quite sometimes, so I just cut it away. So I'm gonna try a combination. I'm gonna try, yeah. Uh, that difficult, I think. Wait, something just happened. Mm -hmm. What? Behind that wall, a movement. Oh, I thought I did it wrong. It was like, what? Because the first never got to the end, so it's this one. Then the second is playing the harp. Then the third is close to his uh, animal, or whatever. And the last one is also playing a tune, so there. Yeah, it worked. It was not that difficult. Oh! <gasps> Looks like some elven sanctuary. Why do you charge in? That's a gull. Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm, <sighs> sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. What? Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Yeah. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Wait. It's a literal lamp? <laughs> I thought it was a lamp, like... A day 3275, final conclusions regarding the lamp. My experiences with the magic lamp unequivocally confirmed that by using it 
active centers of active centers of condensed spiritual energy can be coaxed into contact and can communicate a limited set of the being's last memories. Wow. Veradolven's remains, however, emit entirely inert spiritual energy. Despite the violent conditions of her death, which should have strengthened the desired tendency, Lara remains silent. At this point, further research on lamps enabling contact with the dead seem entirely useless for my purposes. Alright. That, that's a nice artifact you have there. 